people. Monica, you gotta fly. No, no, no. I... Black girl magic. Black girl magic. Black girl magic. How dare you? Well, dear viewer, I gotta admit that I did something stupid over the weekend. Not because I especially wanted to, but because my daughter, seven years old, saw the trailer for the Marvels and really liked the amount of cats in it. And after seeing the movie and reviewing it thoroughly, I can say I think the cats did a lot better of an acting job than any of the people in it. I think the clip I played beforehand perfectly encapsulates what the MCU is about right now. And I know if I said something like, I don't know, if there was a white man power to fly, I'd get a response like this. FBI, open up! But we're not here to talk about if the FBI is going to raid my house for my questionable takes on media. We're here to talk about the Marvels and how it's the biggest Disney box office flop uh, of the MCU, at least, ever. And I gotta say, this movie's got a lot working against it. I didn't think the, uh, I think the actresses, honestly, if I'm gonna be fair, kind of did what they could with the script that they had. That the the girl who played Kamala Khan was pretty good. Uh, but I don't really know her for anything. I never watched the Marvels. I think Brie Larson was a little more likable in this than she was in the first movie. She's not as stiff, but. It's still Brie Larson and Monica uh, Rambeau. I guess she was from WandaVision, so I've heard, but I never watched that either because I'm not really into the whole Disney Plus shows. I remember mean, my daughter, we sit down, we watch Disney Plus. It's always like going back to like the Pixar era, like Toy Story, Monsters, Inc., or before that, like Lion King, the original one, obviously, or Lilo and Stitch, stuff like that. But this movie has tanked and it's very interesting how um, I've seen a lot of uh, people on Twitter say how this is men's fault. It's just the same way it's men's fault that the WNBA is not profitable. Because if these were really women's interests and women were really that interested in going to support these things, then women should be going to all the WNBA games. Just like men go to most of the, w or most of the NBA games. But it doesn't work that way. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. The Walt Disney Company just cannot do anything right these days, but agree with that. Earlier this week, Disney CEO Bob Iger admitted that the company lost some focus with their contest decisions and execution. That's the understatement of the century. Because if anyone knows anything about the current I mean, state of any Disney movie, be it Marvel, Pixar, Lucasfilm, it's going to be this. Put a chick in it. Make her gay. Put a diverse woman in it. Make her gay. You know, I'm an old man in some respects. I remember when watching South Park back in college days when it was satirical, when it was funny. It was satire back in like the, I guess, seasons like, you know, 8, 9, 10, 11 era, stuff like that. Now it's just factual. Now they're, they don't even have to kind of pretend. Now it's just whatever they say is actually the truth and people just don't want to hear it. And we're going to see that with the Marvels. Pre-releasing tracking has suggested the Marvels could gross $75 million to $80 million in its opening weekend, which would have been a disastrous failure for the film with an estimated $270 million production budget given the cost of marketing often equals or exceeds the budget is possible to break even for Marvels is around $550 million or more. And obviously that's because of advertising and all, all that stuff. You gotta pay people, yada, yada, yada. Um, but what they're saying, uh, to put a diverse woman in it and make her gay, would be the explanation of Valkyrie and Captain Marvel's relationship. And listen, I have to be very clear here. I have to be very, very careful. Because I've already been demonetized off of YouTube because my views for them are too extreme. So I gotta be really careful. I do not have a problem with heterosexual or homosexual relationships. All I have a problem with is marriage in any sense of it, but that's not the point. 
the point is that they're trying to have us accept a relationship is going on between Captain Marvel and Valkyrie. And they've never, I don't think they've ever interacted. Maybe in Endgame for like two seconds or something, they were on the same screen together. So they had the whole girl boss moment, possibly for that. But if you want people to care about what's going on, one, it should all be in the same median. That, that should be a thing in itself. You shouldn't have to subscribe to Disney Plus, then go to the theater. You shouldn't have to see 10 movies. It's like, you know, at, at some point, you got to just stick with like the trilogy format where people really like something. They'll go see the second, the third movie, and they want to see it out. And that's fine. But you're on like, what, like close to 30 movies here. Actually, I think you're over 30 movies. Ridiculous. But uh, that's just my opinion, I guess. I go to Twitter. I don't think I'm totally wrong here. You know, there's a lot of people speaking out against the Marvels. Let's see here. Uh, apparently, and there's an end scene. Uh, spoilers. You want to jump off of this? I guess I should have said that way earlier. Where uh, Kamala Khan asks Kate Bishop over here to kind of join up with her and form the Avengers. And apparently they're going to bring in Ant-Man's daughter, who's not really his daughter. They have this, you know, person masquerading as their daughter, who is really, you know, a part of uh, some radical feminist group. Because the first actress they had was fine, but uh, she probably wasn't woke enough, so they can't her. And uh, Yellow Flash says, this might make less money than the Marvels. I would agree with that. Although I can't say, I saw Ant-Man 3. I... Worst character, definitely. No offense to the actress, but terribly unlikable. I didn't see the Hawkeye thing, and I didn't see Miss Marvel thing. And from what I saw of Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan, you know, I thought she was okay. I thought, you know, she's likable enough, bubbly enough. You know, she did what the script demanded. But, you know, this thing is just losing money. It's, it's not going to make back money at all. It's just, and yet there's all this copium on here. <laughs> Opening with the highest box office for a black female director is 100% deserved. And a picture of a cat. I don't know if that's true or not. People like to make up a bunch of things on Twitter, obviously, but... You know. It's just so much copium. But Loki, people are praising this, and it's like, does anyone care about Loki anymore? Has he been cool since Infinity War? Or maybe Endgame, I guess people like to see him slip out in Endgame, but... I'm not saying the actresses were necessarily bad. The one performance I really could criticize, I think who was just, like, really hamming it up, was uh, actually Samuel L. Jackson. I felt like he just didn't care about being there, his character's been completely destroyed. And, uh, sorry. I know, I, apparently that was in Secret Invasion. I didn't see that either. So if somebody's actually seen this movie, if you like a lot of cats, there are a lot of cats that do a lot of weird things. But, as I say, I took my seven-year-old to it because she really wanted to see all the cats do weird things. She really had no response by the end of it. And, you know, last movie I took her to was Super Mario Brothers. And before that would have been, uh... Sonic 2, and she loved both of those. Oh yeah, I think this is kind of the death of the MCU, unless they can get new blood in there, and go a whole different situation. You don't gotta listen to me. If you want to test me out, say, oh, you're definitely wrong, go watch it for yourself. But if it were me, I wish I could get my 13 bucks back. Anyway, that's all I got. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for listening this long, and I will catch you guys all in the next one. And um, if anyone's still listening, sorry I haven't been uploading lately. I know I got like a dedicated fan base of, you know, a couple people. But uh, I've been working through some stuff and really trying to figure out what I want to do and all that.
Anyway, everybody, thank you very much for your support. I really do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Later. Blackout magic! Oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. Ha 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 ha!